hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a smoky purple eye and let's just get right into it so what i'm doing now is i'm using the pure soap that i got from this camp just to make my eyebrows tacky for to get to prepare for my um brow gel so i'm using the brow gel from um Ofra cosmetics of the shape, color dark brown so you just fill it in to the size that you want and then prepare for So now I'm going in with the MAC concealer and I'm just making sure that I'm doing it as slow as possible and as neat as possible. Now I took my um, buffing um, uh, brush and I'm blending it. So for the top of my brows I like to use my foundation. I then took my Real Techniques brush again and I blended that out. So for the base of my eyeshadow, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the color C1. As you can see, it's very white. That's what I like for my eyeshadows. Uh, the reason for this um, concealer choice color is because I, I like my for our, I, eyeshadows to pop. So I like color on my eyes and usually when I use color, um, the, the white concealer or the white color of, of the concealer works better for me. I don't set my concealer with uh, powder after I just immediately go into the uh, eyeshadow as soon as I'm done with blending that out. So now I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette and I'm going to first use that brown over there for my crease. So I'm using a patting motion when I apply the, the, the eyeshadow so it's like I'm stacking it on top before I move it around there after I move it around you'll see as, 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 as I'm working on it I, I pat, pat, put it on and then move it around then blend, blend, blend as much as you can I'm now going in with that mustard color on the side to, to neutralize that brown. So I'm going in with a dark uh, purple brown and I'm putting it on the side and then I move it towards the inner corner of my eye and still focusing a bit on the side of my lid and um, the, the, the middle of my crease. So now I'm going in with the Switch Beauty Holy Grail uh, palette and I'm using the white to cut my crease. So when you cut your crease you need to look up to see where, the, where your um, lid ends and that will that is usually a direction for how you uh, how far you can cut your crease i'm now taking my freedom makeup uh, palette um, I forgot the name of this. I'll put the uh, description down below. And I'm, I'm using the purplish shimmery color in the palette. 
um, you just also need to pack it on until it covers the white because this is very white you don't want the the white to stay visible so you pack it in there until with a flat brush until the, the whole cut crease is covered again I went in with the previous brush and added some more color just to fix the color that might have been rubbed away when I was busy putting, putting that color on my, my cut crease So now I'm gonna attempt to draw um, an eyeliner. Whew, this is still a struggle for me. I can never do it as neat and, and, and straight as possible. But anyway, we keep on learning. So now I'm applying my Geo glue. Now I'm just using mascara to prepare for my lash application. This thing is an eyelash tool. Um, I have very curly eyelash, eye, eyelashes, so I try to use it to just make them less curly. Um, now I'm going in with my Smashbox primer. And using a wipe just to go under my um, eyes where I may have any eyeshadow. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer under my eyes. I don't usually like to um, put on foundation. I just go straight ahead into highlighting my, my under eye. And I'll put on uh, foundation all the other parts of my face. Um, the reason for this is because I usually crease under uh, my eyes so I'm doing this technique just to 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 minimize the creasing I then added concealer from MAC under my eye on top of that LA Girl um, just to make my eye more orange. Uh. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm putting it on, on the parts that I didn't use any concealer. And then add more concealer um, on my chin. I'm now going to do my contour. I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Wheel. And I'm using the darkest shade there.
banana powder Cutting it into my skin using the LA Go powder in cocoa use the same colors under our eyes I usually like to go from the lightest to the darkest so that brown that I use for my crease that's what I'm gonna start with for my under eyes on both eyes and then I'm gonna go into that um, deep purple or uh, brownish color um, and use that and then I'm gonna do my inner corners of the eye with um, a shade from the Freedom palette. Using a Sephora uh, blush. After I'm setting my face with the MAC setting spray I just pat it in, into my skin as well sometimes it helps So now I'm going in with my wet and wild um, highlighter For the lips I went in with my cork uh, lip liner from MAC The lipstick I went with uh, MAC uh, Matte Liquid Lip Color in Cafe Al Chic. Yeah, 
guys that's the final look my weave is now on and yes gorgeous smoky purple thank you guys for watching please subscribe comment and like and please invite your friends to come and subscribe thank you so much bye